Hi, you're watching VSDC channel. In this video, we'll show you how to create an advanced page turn effect. With all the blows and whistles available in the new version of VSDC, you can turn it into a professional level transition. Let's get right to it. First, add your footage to the scene. Then make a click on the first video and go to the Video Effects tab. Select Transitions and Page Turn. To activate the Advanced settings, switch to the Advanced mode in the Properties window. Alright, let's take a closer look at the menu. The main group of settings here is called Fade FX. Apart from the mode, it includes the following parameters. Directly. This one allows you to switch between a regular page turn and the version where the page unfolds in the opposite direction. Transition levels. Here you can set the initial and the final spot of the page turn. Page angle. Here you can set up the angle at which the page will be folding. Type allows for choosing the side and the corner where the page turn begins. And finally, anti-aliasing is designed to help you smooth the edges and the corners of the page. Now, the following group is called Advanced Settings, and this is where you can fine-tune the way your page turn transition looks. Most parameters are self-explanatory. For instance, maximum empty space shadow size, that's the size of the shadow projected from the turning page onto the image that comes after. Maximum shadow size from turned page is the shadow from the folded area that falls on the page that's been turned. Maximum Bright Zone Size This is the bright edge of the fold and you can decide how wide it should be. Maximum Inner Shadow Size is the size of the shadow located right here on the other side of the edge. Inner Shadow Left Size allows you to shift that shadow closer to the bright area or move it further. Page Curl Offset lets you change the size of the curl. Page Curl Deformation helps you increase the distance between the page and the corner that starts the curl. Empty Space Shadow Intensity is the shadow on the area under the page that's been folded. Here you can make it lighter or darker. Bright Zone Intensity defines how bright the edge of the fold will be. Inner Shadow Intensity does the same to the shadow located to the right of the Bright Zone. And finally, Shadow from Turned Page Intensity. Again, that's the shadow displayed on the page under the fold and you can decide how strong it should be. As you can see, there are a lot of parameters to help you set up the appearance of the page turn very precisely. On top of that, you can set different values for the beginning and the end of the transition to create a more realistic illusion of a turning page. Try it for yourself and let us know if you like it in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, stay tuned, until next time!